Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going to share with you a simple step by step guide to perform a ruler or rapid upper limb assessment of individual worker. Ruler have the objective to evaluate the exposure of individual worker to ergonomic risk factor associated with upper extremity muscular skeletal disorder or MSD. The ruler tool uses a systematic process to evaluate required body posture, force, and repetition for the job task being evaluated just by using a single page worksheet. Scores are entered for each body region in section A for the arm and wrist and section B for the neck and trunk. After the data for each region is collected and scored, Tables in the form are then used to compile the risk factor variables, generating a single score that represents the level of MSD risk. Now, we have here our mate named Geoffrey, who are performing a task under an awkward position as our example. Let's start our assessment on this section A, step 1, which is the assessment in the upper arm position. The upper arm score will be between 1 to 6. The score is based on the degree of shoulder flexion or extension along with any adjustment for the shoulder being raised or abducted. In this example, Geoffrey's shoulder is flexed slightly less than 90 degrees for a score of plus 3. Geoffrey's arm significantly away from his body thus is abducted. Thus, the adjustment of plus 1 selected for shoulder abduction. The score for upper arm is then 4. The lower arm score will be between 1 to 3. The score is based on the degree of elbow flexion or bending and some adjustment if either lower arm is working across the midline or to the outside of the body. In the example, the elbow is flexed about 60 to 100 degree with respect to the upper arm for a score of plus 1. There is no adjustment for the arm working across the midline. Thus, the lower arm score is 1. Now, let's go to the step number 3, the wrist position score. The wrist score will be between 1 to 4. The score is based on the degree of wrist flexion or extension along with a potential adjustment of plus 1 if wrist deviation is required. In this example, the wrist is flexed greater than 15 degrees for a score of plus 3. And the wrist is deviated significantly, so the wrist adjustment is plus 1 should be selected. Thus, the wrist score is 4. The wrist twist score in step 4 is whether 1 or 2 depending whether the wrist is twisted in the mid-range or if the wrist is twisted at or near the end of range. In this example, the wrist is twisted in the mid-range for a score of 1. Now in step 5. We got to look up for the posture score by mapping each scores from step 1 to step 4 by circling the score at respective column in table A. The upper arm score is 4. The lower arm score is 1. The wrist score is 4. And the wrist twist score is 1. That makes the posture score in table A equal to 5. Next, we look into step 6, 7 and 8. The muscle use for arm and wrist score box will be checked plus 1 if the posture of the task is mainly static, means that if the tool is held for longer than 10 minutes or if the action is repeated 4 times per minute. In this example, neither condition exists thus the score is 0. There are 4 conditions in force 
or load score. If the load is less than 4.4 pound or 2 kg and the action is intermittent or less than 4 times per minute, the score is 0. If the load is between 4.4 pounds or 2 kg to 22 pounds or 10 kg and the action is intermittent or less than 4 times per minute, the score is plus 1. If the load is between 4.4 pounds to 22 pounds and the load is being held longer than 10 minutes or is repeated 4 times per minute, the score is 2. And if the load is more than 22 pounds or 10 kg or if the action is repeated or some shocks being used, the score is plus 3. In this example, the load score is 2 because the tool used by the Joffrey about 2 kg and the action is repeated. For step 8, we got to add up the scores from step 5 to step 7 which brings us the wrist and arm score of 7. Then in table C, we got to circle the score. Now we look into section B for assessment on the neck, trunk and leg. Step 9 is to assess the neck position that will be between 1 to 6. The score is based on the degree of neck flexion or extension along with any adjustment for neck twisting or side bending. In this example, the neck position was determined to be between 10 to 20 degrees. In addition, side bending of the neck was observed, thus the neck score is 3. The trunk position score will be between 1 to 10. The score is based on the degree of trunk flexion or extension along with any adjustment for twisting or side bending of the trunk or back. In this example, the trunk position was observed to be flexed more than neutral up to 20 degrees. There is no significant trunk twisting or side bending, thus the trunk score is 2. The leg score will be 1 or 2. If the legs and feet are supported with even weight distribution, the score is plus 1. If the legs and feet are not supported or there is uneven weight distribution between the legs such as standing on one leg, the score is plus 2. In this example, the leg and feet are supported and weight is evenly distributed therefore the leg score is 1. Next is to look up for posture score in table B. Map step 9 to step 11 scores into table B and determine the posture B score and we got 3. Step number 13 and 14 are much similar to step 6 and 7. If the posture of the task is mainly static or being held more than a minute, or if the action is repeated 4 times per minute, the score is 1. In this example, neither condition exists, thus the score is 0. Similarly, the force and load score is plus 2 since the load is about 2 kg and the action is repeated. Then add up scores from step 12 to step 14 and we got the neck, trunk and leg score as 5. Now as the final step, look at table C, we already have our wrist and arm score of 7. Now we mark the neck, trunk and leg score that we have gotten just now which is 5. Now we can map the final ruler score which is 7 and simply write it down in the box. Below table C is the level of muscular skeletal disorder risk level. The ruler final score that matches the condition that a change is needed must be responded accordingly. Corrective action must be implemented. Like in this example, 
the workstation been improved by introducing a fixture and assembly process was changed.